So I happened upon a somewhat bizarre, supposedly feel-good story on the website yorkregion.com. It was about a 63-year-old homeless man, David Thompson, who has just embarked upon a cycling trip across Canada. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I love cycling, but I have to squeeze in my bike rides around my work schedule. So in terms of the hierarchy of needs, if Mr. Thompson is homeless, the story notes that he lives under a tree, shouldn't job one be to get a job? I mean, any job? But no, Thompson is answering a higher calling, it would appear, which is to say he is embarking upon a cross-country ride in order to raise awareness, something that has become an industry onto itself in recent years, methinks. Indeed, once upon a time, people actually made things or they raised funds for a good cause. Now, be it marathon bike rides or growing a mustache or shaving one's head, it's all about raising awareness. You know something, all you do-gooders out there, we're all pretty much aware of things we need to be aware of, and if we're not, well, that's what our Googler machines are for, right? But no, philanthropy is increasingly all about raising awareness. You know, I think just about every color in the spectrum has been tapped for the ribbon racket. Red is for AIDS, pink for breast cancer, white for violence against women. We'll soon be into tartan patterns at this rate. But back to Mr. Thompson. You see, he plans to cycle across Canada and back again to raise awareness for the forgotten. Who dat, you ask? Well, you name it, folks. Homeless people, victims of violence, military vets, and so on and so forth. All worthy causes, to be sure, but the fact that Thompson's net is so vast makes his crusade an utter fail from the get-go. Successful fundraising campaigns tend to focus on one specific issue or goal. With McDonald's, it's about putting up families via Ronald McDonald House who have children undergoing medical procedures. With Tim Hortons, it's about sending underprivileged kids to summer camp. The point is, there is a specific cause and there is a specific call to action, i.e. financial donations, to bring about tangible results. And what is Mr. Thompson's call to action? Um, there isn't one. As the story notes, quote, Thompson, who has been homeless for 14 years, says he does not take donations or seek help for the ride. The only thing he wants is to show support and care to those in need. People with mental health issues, drug addicts, homeless people, low-income families, and the soldiers that fought for freedom. Says Thompson, all they need to do is go to bed thinking that tomorrow will be a better day. You can control your mind into believing that. Now, things may not be perfect, but they can become better." End quote. Hmm. So, he's advocating for what? Wishful thinking? Just go to bed, hopefully not under a tree, and I don't know, wish upon a falling star, hope that a magic lantern falls off the back of a truck. <laughs> wow. Apparently, being homeless for almost a decade and a half has made him averse to work. The heavy lifting in any awareness campaign is bringing in some do-re-mi for those who need it. And in terms of Mr. Thompson's own odyssey, unless he has stacks of $100 bills in his fanny pack, how does he plan to pay his own invoices during his cross-country tour across our great dominion? Oh, but this raising awareness shtick, it just won't end, will it? It's as if merely raising awareness solves the problem. Well, it most certainly does not. And I don't want to be mean here, but check out the photo. Does Mr. Thompson, who suffers from a bad back, look like the sort of person capable of making a 7,000 kilometer trek from Toronto to Vancouver and back again? If you answered yes to that, then you may as well bet the house that the menzoid is going to win the Tour de France next month. But he's raising awareness, folks, just like so many others, even though we're all painfully aware of the problems that exist in society today. And that's the thing, isn't it? In the past, people didn't merely raise awareness. They got things done. Jonas Salk didn't spend his life raising awareness about polio. He created a vaccine to eradicate polio, 
NASA didn't squander its budget raising awareness about venturing into the final frontier. They actually put a man on the moon. Indeed, all this story did for me was raise awareness about David Thompson. Nobody in 21st century Canada should spend their night sleeping under a tree. It is the wannabe helper who really needs some help here. And if and when he sorts out his own life situation, maybe then he can go about helping others in need. And hopefully he'll do so by raising money rather than merely raising awareness. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like what you just saw, please like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel Update.